Flow is a topic near and dear to my heart. As someone who ran a real estate investment firm and purchased and ran a trade publication, I clearly understand the significance of cash in managing daily operations. I've also worked as an interim chief financial officer and chief operating officer, as well as a restructuring consultant for a number of small and medium businesses. Since these smaller entities don't have access to the capital markets to get cash quickly or at lower funding rates, cash is often a huge issue for them. According to the SBA, from 1994 to 2019, approximately one third of businesses survived two years, while approximately 49% survived five years. That means that the survival rate for the first two years are critical. The biggest issue cited was lack of capital, also known as cash. The reasons behind the lack of cash can vary from poor planning, poor marketing, or too early of a market entry, or just not having cash on hand to pay the bills because of poor access to credit or loans. The fact is that without having cash, the runway to success is much shorter. If you have strong cash flow from operations, financing, or selling old assets, if you've been in business for a while, you have time to make adjustments or rebound from mistakes. That's why it is critical that small businesses create and manage a detailed 12-week cash flow forecast. This allows you to see what's coming in advance, which gives you time to explore options. For example, if you see a negative number in week 10 due to quarterly tax payments, loan principal repayments, or scheduled equipment purchase, you have time to pursue a line of credit or to pursue financing for the equipment purchase. If the issue is timing of an incoming customer payment, you can push back your accounts payable, that's what you owe to suppliers and vendors, by a week or two to better align what's coming in with what's going out. Another key to managing cash flow is to match your payables to your receivables. Matching, that's very important. You wanna make sure that if you're paying vendors and suppliers in 10 to 15 days, then your customers are paying you in that same time frame. If you're paying so quickly, but your customers don't pay you for 30 to 45 days, then you are essentially financing that time gap. I once had an asphalt manufacturing and road construction client whose customers paid in 60 days, which is fairly standard in that industry. But the supplier that provided the key input ingredient that comprised 45% of their cost of goods sold for on the asphalt production side, sold um, of the cost of goods sold, debited their bank account in 10 days. 10 days versus 60 days. This caused them to heavily use their line of credit, so it wasn't available for other uses. The owner and I negotiated with the supplier and were able to get 60 day terms. That increased their cash flow by four times. Think of it this way, cash flow, cash flow <laughs> is the lifeblood of the business. Without it, you don't have the money to meet payroll or pay your other bills. You may limp along being unprofitable if you do things like require deposits or prepayments, which I highly recommend when you can get them. But if you don't have cash, your business could crash in weeks. Managing your cash flow allows you time to build a sustainable business, including addressing the challenges and mistakes that every business encounters.